as a student of uh, english literature first of all you must get full understanding of key points of novel adam bead for example realism psychological analysis of characters themes symbols settings of novel and art of characterization then uh, you can use all these uh, important key points uh, in your assignments for example you are going to make an assignment on the character of adam beat you can use uh, all these key points uh, because uh, the character of adam beat is based on uh, realism he is a pen portrait of uh, uh, george eliot's father's character uh, uh, george eliot also presents this character through psychological uh, portrayal uh, because the maturity journey of adam beat uh, goes through a psychoanalysis of this character if you have a full understanding of psychoanalysis used in this uh, novel by george eliot then you can explain it through adam beats character that how he gets uh, maturity because in the beginning of the novel he was not a mature person he was over confident and um, over uh, over proud when sufferings uh, come in his life and he has to face these suffering at the end of the novel we find him a mature and changed person if you are going to make assignment on the character of hetty you can use all these key points uh, first of all in the introduction you can tell that hetty is a realistic character because it is the pen portrait of uh, a real story uh, which was told by uh, george eliot's aunt who was a religious preacher the psychoanalysis of uh, hetty's character is very important very much important in this novel how keenly observed observed character has been portrayed in this uh, novel the inner thinking and his childish behavior and her day dreaming everything is quite obvious in this novel so um, uh, george eliot has used psychoanalysis while portraying the character of hetty the setting of the novel has been used uh, uh, as a theme in this novel as a symbol because uh, the uh, will, uh, pastoral beauty resembles to hetty and the fertility of uh, pastoral scenes also resembles to hetty so the resemblance is quite clear hetty has been resembled a, a rootless plant uh, in this novel which means uh, she is unable to sustain her place uh, in hay slope society the characters of george eliot's novel are um, living breathing human beings eliot was writing before fried yet her novels were uh, rich in psychological analysis of characters if you are going to make assignment on the character of dina morris uh, she is uh, she has been uh, shown a mature character but uh, uh, we find that uh, she has uh, no balance in using head and heart she uh, give uh, she gives importance heart over head but at the end uh, she uh, become uh, more more mature and uh, she can uh, have balance between head and heart 
द करेक्टर ऑफ डीना मॉरिस इज़ आल्सो अ रियलिस्टिक करेक्टर बिकॉज इट इज़ द पेन पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ करेक्टर ऑफ जॉर्ज इलियट्स आंट एज अ साइको एनालिटिक जॉर्ज इलियट लुक्स इन टू द माइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स एंड रिवील्स दियर थिंकिंग फीलिंग सफरिंग एंड फ्रस्टेशन द करेक्टर्स इन जॉर्ज इलियट नावल ग्रो एंड डिवेलप एज द स्टोरी प्रोसीड्स दे आर राउंड करेक्टर्स वी बी होल्ड दैम एट द एंड ऑफ द बुक डिफरेंट from what they are at the beginning on religious uh, part the clash between old ways of worship and uh, the new ways of worship had always uh, interested to george eliot the character of mr arvin and uh, uh, dina morris is the representative of this th- this thought of uh, the author the confrontation of evil and good and uh, temptation of evil and finally the triumph of good has been represented in this novel in this way uh, you can make assignment on every character and on every theme and symbols uh, first of all uh, you you must understand the key points of the novel thank you